Hi, we're at the Cloak and Blaster and we just got done playing Grim Masquerade by Skybound Druid City Games. And this is a social deduction uh, where it's played two to five player. And uh, let's get to it. Okay, story-wise, you are at the Beast Castle, and you are in disguise, and you're trying to figure out who the other characters are, right? So, uh, everyone will be dealt a character card, and on your character card, it has a boon and a bane. In order to win, you want to get three of your boon, and you are revealed if you get two of your bane, right? How does that happen? Well, during your turn, you will draw two cards, you do them one at a time, and you'll draw an artifact, right? So you draw your first artifact and you choose whether you're gonna give it to a, an opponent or you're gonna keep it. Then you'll draw your next artifact and you'll do the opposite, okay? If you are given two of your bane, you will flip your character over face up and the person that give you, gave you your uh, artifact that caused you to flip your character over will score a rose token. Those are the VP, all right? But you are not out of the game you will pick up your cards if you have any on, on, on the table, add them to your hand, and when it comes around to your turn, you will draw an artifact and you will hand them to an, a player, to, uh, an opponent. With that said, you will also get a wager card so that you can choose who you think is going to win. That, that gives you the ability to try to force a player to be revealed or you can give an opponent artifact cards so you can help them win. If you helped an opponent win, you will also get a uh, rose token based upon whatever is on that round. You'll play this over a series of three rounds, and whoever has the most victory points at the end of the end of the three rounds have won the game. Steven, yeah. if there is anything you like the most about this game, what would that be? Yeah, you know, so I felt like it actually had a pretty strong deduction component to go with the social deduction piece, and that makes it work at a lower player count, right? So we most recently played it at three players, and a lot of social deduction games just do not work at a lower player count like that. But in this game, it really works. Eric? Um, I actually really dug the action points. You know, I feel like a lot of deduction games feel really samey in between rounds and especially like when you were introducing this as playing you know over the course of three rounds you know it's kind of you know what is it what does it give you to kind of keep me keep me in the game and i like the fact that each round kind of has a different feel to it i mean we had one round that felt super super aggressive because we were like everybody was dropping little tokens on the board that revealed you know who they weren't mm -hmm. so and then you know we had other rounds that felt a little bit more you know like the like a dance you know going around cards right the table floating around so it felt a little more I don't want to say the word random but you know so I mean just it was kind of neat that the different rounds felt different. Yeah um, for me I would have to say that I like that even when you are bumped out of the game you're not completely out you still have the opportunity to win and I've seen it happen I've played this game a few times and I've seen someone go from having no points to winning the game because they were able to figure out who the other players were and Eric, if there was something you cared for the least with uh, Grim Masquerade, what would that be? Can, can I tell you the, the, the thing that I, like, my fourth least favorite thing about this game? Or does it have to be my, like, my most least favorite thing about this game? Maybe your third. My third? Well, I don't actually have that many things that I don't like about the game. So, I'd say that the thing that... I don't know, I, I could see it being a positive, but it's a little bit of a negative for me. The social deduction, it's definitely more of like a social deduction. Like, you really focus on the deduction aspect of it. I feel like it'd be really easy for people to sit around quietly at the table, and I could see at a higher player count that being kind of... Because if you had people that were a little bit more iffy prone, being a little more boring. Because, I mean, you, it'd be easy to sit and twiddle your thumbs and just wait for your turn to come around again. So, and just as a disclaimer, I'm not a huge fan of deduction games, so, like, that probably factors into it, too. He lost. I did. Actually, you lost, but... We lost. I got, no, I got second place.
even. Well, I'm going to echo a little bit what he said, right? So at the higher player counts, I know that there's other stuff going on when it's not my turn, there's information to gather, but I do kind of feel like I'm twiddling my thumbs a little bit, I don't want to be my turn, I want to do something, because I feel like it should just be a really fast game, but because of the deduction element and the social deduction element, you kind of need to take a little bit of time in your turn to decide, well, what am I going to do with this card? I want to keep it, uh, or give it away, because if I give it away, then I'm going to have to get the next card, and then, you know, do I want to trigger these actions now? Do I want to bluff on stacking items together or not? And so, there's, you know, you have to take your time to think on your turn, and, you know, with five people, that means you're waiting for four people to do that, and you're like, hey, I know what I want to do, I'm ready to accuse somebody or something, and I'm just waiting for my turn. Um, so, yeah, so I, I think that's that's my negative for it. I think it works better at lower player counts. Um, for me, I would have to say the uh, action cards. There's um, not as many as I thought there would be, um, but I think there should be more action cards. There's only about seven action cards, but they rotate. So you shuffle them and you'll play with two each round. So um, I feel like some were more powerful than others, so they're mo more likely going to be chosen. But some are situational too, because I had some uh, games where there was a card I said, oh, I would never use that because this card's so much better. But the other card actually helped me win the round. So, so but yeah. Basically, you're already advocating for an expansion. Or some promo cards. <laughs> I'm Corey. This is Steven. This is Eric. And we're Just Got Played. I always want to be the big bad wolf. I don't know, I kind of like not regretting it. I don't know, I kicked some butt at Cinderella. You did. She has a lot of shoes. I just like her treats. <laughs>